My name's Justin Nickerson, uh, Director of Apollo Auctions. Uh, firstly, I want to say a big thank you for the opportunity to represent you in the sale of your property. Uh, it's certainly an opportunity to auction. Anyone's property is one that we don't take lightly. It's a privilege. Uh, I want to thank you again for the chance to do that. Our purpose of this video is to talk a little bit about a few questions that vendors commonly have regarding the auction that's upcoming. Uh, and hopefully we can dispel a few of those questions you might have and give you a little bit more confidence as to how the day is likely to unfold. Uh, firstly, I'm sure at this stage you might be feeling some nerves uh, that's completely usual so don't feel like there's anything out of body that's happening at this present point in time uh, completely natural when we have a situation that does carry a little bit of stress that nerves are likely to be there so that's okay we do find from experience as the auction gets closer and closer those nerves are likely to grow but once the auction starts uh, hopefully they settle down and the butterflies can start flying in a little bit of formation uh, with regards to the run of the auction day itself what we ask traditionally is that if you are going to be present at the auction uh, if you could go elsewhere go for a walk go for a short drive and come back to the property roughly about five minutes before the auction starts our uh, purpose of doing that is just to give clear air for the agents and also the buyers to inspect the property uh, in its full breadth right the way before the auction starts. Traditionally, there will be an open home roughly half an hour before the auction commences. So to give them the clear air to do that effectively is what we require. But what we would like is you to come back five minutes before the auction so we can grab you, jump into one of the rooms and give you a briefing as to what is currently uh, the situation with the auction, what we have in terms of bidders, what we don't have and formulate some last minute strategy and game plan. If you're not planning to be there on the day, that's completely okay as well. Uh, some vendors we know do prefer to be away and remove from that environment. What we will do is we'll give you a phone call just before the auction, roughly that five minute before the auction starts window, and again, give you the briefing as to what occurs. Uh, the reason we do the briefing at that time is everything becomes clear and apparent at that point in time. So in the days leading up to the auction, even the hours leading up to the auction, there can be a lot of change in movement with various buyers. Some buyers coming in, some buyers dropping out, uh, some buyers getting a bit wobbly, some buyers strengthening. What we have five minutes before the auction is a really clear picture as to who is there and present and ready to participate in the auction and at that point in time we'll make sure that our strategy is set around those that are likely uh, to perform or not perform as it may be. Um, the question that always comes to us probably before the auctions is around the reserve price. So the reserve price is legally the price that you've set that you would sell your property for. Now the biggest thing to remember about the reserve price and I really want you to take this on board is that no matter what you set your reserve price at we will still consult with you before we sell the property or pass it in. Please, so please don't think that if you set a reserve price at a certain number, the moment that we get to that number, you'll relinquish control and the property will be sold. Even if we get to your number or exceed it, we will still come and check with you and get your permission before we do sell the home. So with that in mind, you can have the confidence to set the reserve price at that lowest figure that you would accept, understanding that you still have the right to say no if you wish when we come and consult with you, even if that figure is reached or breached. If we don't quite get to your reserve price, what we'll do in that instance is pause the auction, come and have a conversation with you. And at that stage, you can alter the reserve price if you would like to affect the sale or let a negotiation unfold at that point in time between yourself and the highest bid up. Uh, auctions can run from anything from five minutes to an hour, depending on the length of the negotiations, the amount of bidding that's involved. Uh, so please do factor in that time. Uh, make sure you don't have to rush off anywhere immediately after the auction. Allow plenty of time for that to unfold, just in case it does take just that little bit longer to try and piece something together. Another question we commonly have is around vendor bidding or auctioneer bidding. So a vendor bid is effectively my bid as an auctioneer on your behalf uh, to let everyone know a clear figure that you wouldn't sell the property for. Now this is most commonly used in two applications. One is to start the auction to get things going if our buyer's a little bit reluctant, or the other one is to close the auction off if it's not an appropriate figure to set it up for post-auction negotiation. So with regards to that opening bid figure, uh, if we need to, we'll certainly execute that right. And what we ask at that point in time is you trust our years of experience and expertise uh, that we'll choose the appropriate figure for that to happen. Uh, a lot of cases we do have vendors that would like to have a lot of input in that. Uh, we do defer in most cases we ask you to defer to our experience and our, our levels around handling opening bidding. Uh, we're aware of where things need to start to get to the event result but as we always say it's not the opening bid that's going to matter it's the last bid and certainly we fight two battles on auction day 
One is getting the paddles in the air. The second one is getting the price right. So our approach is we make sure we fight the first battle first. Let's get the paddles in the air and get the buyers engaged. And then we can sort out the price at a latter point in time. Uh, but all in all, we're here to support and help you on auction day. Um, we're there to complement the great work that the agent has done throughout the course of the campaign. But most of all, we're there to represent you and your property in the best possible light and affect the best possible outcome that we can, depending on the interest levels we have on the day. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of confidence, a bit of insight to what's likely to occur on auction day. Uh, we can't wait to get in there and start representing you. Good luck and we'll see you soon.